How is this for quality? We've still got so many fish to catch it, I don't even know where to start. Like, I've never even seen a sour fish or a night fish. So that means it's time to once again stress myself out playing a casual fishing game. My quest for now is to catch one maw and one red skitter. And a red skitter is a red version of the skitter. That's that little red one you see swimming around in a pack somewhere out here. Well, actually, that's it. I managed to find it on my first cast. Oh, there's another one, but I also lost everything on my first cast. While I'm waiting, I did catch a puffer fish. Get in the boat. Yeah, there we go. You need to feed it small bait to be able to get it. One red skitter, and that's actually worth 16,000. Get in the boat. So before I do anything stupid, I'm going to sell all the fish I have for $20,000 and take a new quest to catch one bleeper. These I haven't caught yet. We find them in the evening, they jump out of the water. And since I very much don't have the patience for that right now, we're going to put this grumper with a rocket and a huge hook and send it way down to the depths. I'm just hoping I get stupidly lucky on a huge fish right now. That's pretty big, but not big enough for me. I want like a shark or bigger. Oh, that guy would have worked. Uh, either of you will work, actually. I'll take one of these. Felish, we're 12,500. We're off to a very good start today. So let's do that same thing again, hopefully catching the whale, though, who's known to frequent this area. Last time he was right about here, so we're going to kind of steer the boat around looking for him. Probably going to lose my bait to the wrong fish right now. This is as far out as I can go. I can't physically move the boat any further. Can something bigger come and eat this? Oh. Well, this one is still worth 6,500, so I did make a little bit of profit off of the giant hook. And apparently I just unlocked a new rod upgrade for getting a tang fin, which is actually a valuable little fish. And also a baby sizzler for about 5,500, so I'm going to cash these fish out. We're getting pretty rich. This bunch of grade A morons was worth 32,000. We could buy the master rod for 320,000, but I need to save my money for stupider things. Like attaching rockets to these guys and trying to catch whales with them. The whales in the area got him. That was alarmingly easy to do. So $85,000 for the tiger shark. We're going to cash him out real quick to fund my adventures. That puts us up to 440000 now to try and catch a maw. And that all starts by hooking one of these and then trying to get a maw to bite it and nothing else, which is stupidly hard to do. Would the maw still be interested in like a quarter glowfish? Oh, he actually bit that, but I forgot I needed the huge hook. That would have worked. In case you've ever wondered, it is tough being this stupid. Made it down to the depths again. There is actually a black hat I probably should have grabbed because that's probably pretty good. But we're going to look around for the maw again, who's usually in the area somewhere. Oh, that's, I think, him. Come on, bite it. Please bite it. Please bite it. No, not you. Okay. We were that close. You know what? That's okay because we caught the ever-prized mustard fish. I did, however, find another hat at the depths. The fez makes attract and repel super effective. So I'm going to give that a try. Okay, I managed to get a glowfish on the hook. I kind of lost my bearings though, but I see the maw. He's right over here. This might be good. Get that one out of your mouth, please. Is he just forever eating that one? Do I have to catch that one now? Bite this one. It's better. Put this in your mouth, please. Well, at least if I manage to hook that one, then I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to catch the maw. But this is pretty annoying because I finally got it set up again and he's just not interested. But by happy coincidence, we got the shark out of the way, but also caught the shark again. And he looks pretty happy about that. That $64,000, get in the boat. Didn't find any glowfish at all, but found a new hat on the way up, so this might also be to benefit. Clean fish and bones are worth twice as much as live fish. Don't really understand what it's saying, but I'll take it. Now I look like a pirate cat. I've been at this so long, it's turning into nighttime, and at $5,000 a cast, this is really getting fun. And since I'm almost level 25, I might as well just catch a few fish and put myself there. And I'm going to do that by catching the big red fish. Because that unlocked us a new upgrade, and we're going to take this happy idiot back to shore to sell for $7,200. I'm not really sure what the new upgrade is, but it might be stealth bait. For $36,000, all fish are less attracted to your lure. This stacks up to three times, I actually want that. That's going to help me catch some of the bigger fish. Because the less regular idiots that are interested, the easier it's going to be for me to catch the ones I actually want. There is a hat that I'm probably going to take that was a $5,000 cast. But these hats could be more valuable than that, depending on what it is they do. Boat coasts faster and you can wait one away from shore. No thank you. I honestly should have kept the fez. Somehow, a game about a cat going fishing makes my blood pressure go way high. That's another hat that I'm tempted to take. I think I'm going to just because there's no glowfish anyways. Fish are much less aggressive and bomb explosions are smaller. Well, I like the less aggressive fish thing. Okay, I actually managed to get this one on the hook. Now I just need... 
Did they aim for that? I'm starting to think the swordfish intentionally aimed for that because that's like the third time in five minutes that's happened. And the maw just ate the glowfish I was going for. He literally plucked it before my eyes. That's okay because I've caught the big orange moron. Worth 8,500 or approximately one and a half casts. 11,700 for the bunch. This time, never mind. I was going to say I'm going to move a lot quicker. That way the swordfish doesn't eat my little fish. But this time, uh, same. The swordfish obviously aims for that. I get it. That's obviously just to make it more fun for everyone. Okay, the swordfish is hopefully not anywhere near this right now. Let's see if we can find the maw somewhere out here. So what do we do about the swordfish? So I guess for now, I will settle for a cowfish. And all I'm going to do for now is just catch everything. Catch every fish I can to try and level up for more upgrades. I caught another red skitter, whatever it's called. That's really good experience and 12 grand. The pufferfish are back. So now once the swordfish comes near, I'm going to stab, stab it, it and remove, remove it from the ecosystem, ecosystem forever. That actually happened quicker than I thought. I think the swordfish are maybe attracted to certain things. So there's another 180,000 plus experience. Somehow, despite my stupid choices so far, we're actually making money overall. There's 212,000. I just unlocked the new rod upgrade, so I'm going to remove Retract. Then I'm going to add Sinker for $36,000. The lure sinks at the bottom of your cast. So I think that means that if I cast anywhere, once the cast settles directly below my boat, it will actually sink down further. So we're going to give that a test if I can navigate through all the fish. So once it comes to rest, yep, we can actually just lower it down basically anywhere we want, and it goes quite quickly. This is going to be good for the deep fish. Because now I can basically sink this right down to wherever I want it. And it's going to keep sinking till we can actually see the bottom. That's kind of interesting. I want the maw though, not really the bottom. So let's see if we can find that big idiot these days. Is that him? I don't even know what that is over there. I don't know how deep I am. At least this way I do have a strange amount of control over uh, where I am in the water. And I can actually avoid fish pretty good now. As long as that swordfish doesn't show up again, I should be able to find ourselves the maw. I saw the bottom and thought that was an enormous fish and got really excited. I'm pretty sure it's just gone right now. I don't know why. It's been here basically every cast when I wanted to find it until I'm actually available to catch it. Wait, wait, I think I hooked it. I think it bit it. It was just hiding way over to the right for some reason. We finally caught the maw. The biggest of all the fish I've caught so far. And boy was it playing hard to get. But this should be far and away the most valuable fish we've ever caught so far. And the most experienced. 450,000. I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to take this back to shore and sell it immediately. $450,000 and I hit level 30, which probably means some kind of new upgrade. Now I have three active quests and I've made over a million dollars so far. But I want to see what that is down at the bottom. So provided I can get this all the way to the bottom without screwing it up, I'm going to catch whatever it is that was right on the bottom. Eventually I'll either hook something or I won't. I got something apparently. Never mind, something snapped the line off. But that did unlock us flick. Hold control to flick the line toward the mouse if it is snagged. This may break the line. Not really that interested, but I am going to try and get back to the bottom and catch a glowfish. That way we can see what we're doing. And then we're going to hook one of those bottom fish. So carefully get the glowfish and then we're going to go sneak along the bottom. Yeah, these are the ones I wanted. You, bite my thing. Then we're going to pull it up. This is a cavern, cavern worth 60,000. I should just catch all of those things right now. There's actually a hat resting right on the bottom. There's a few hats right on the bottom. There's so much good stuff down here. But I'll take this $60,000 fish for now. Being able to control my lure like this feels almost unfair. Well, for now, I'm going to sell the two that I have. Then we're going to try and find another light fish and explore the bottom a little bit. And the best part is, now that I can drop my lure straight down like this, I can use bombs to scare fish away and make myself a little route straight to the bottom. Okay, I found the light fish. There's the big uh, other valuable one. Can't remember what he's called, but we're going to take a look way down here. Oh, this is interesting. Look at those. We've never even seen those before. They're like a vampire fish. There's like a whole cave system down here. I had no idea. I don't know what that is, but I can not catch it. I think I broke the line. I don't know how to catch that, but there's some very interesting fish way down that deep. I got scared and went for a hat instead of catching a stupid fish. You can sneak past aggressive fish, but some are harder to hook. I mean, these things kind of do the same thing, but I guess I'll probably try sneaky just for the new appearance. Okay, so there's the other big fish. He's over here harassing the other one. So I'm going to see if I can use a medium fish to catch him. We're not really going to be able to see what's happening. I can kind of see the outline of him. So if he wants to bite this... 
Come on. He wanted to bite it before. I couldn't get him away from me. Now he's like running away from it. That big idiot didn't want to bite, so I'll maybe go for... Also not him. He's not hungry. Oh, yeah, he is. Does this give off any light? Nope, it sure doesn't. Okay, for a little bit, I'm just going to go back to catching everything I can because I need more experience clearly to get better lures. $14,000 and plenty of experience. So for now, let's sell our fish for $40,000 and then maybe look at getting a better boat. Maybe the luxury boat travels quite far but isn't very fast. I think that means we're going to find some new fish way out there. It's not very fast, but it doesn't have to be. I've got nothing but time and $400,000 to wreck. Pretty sure by now we're into new water that I've never seen before. So we're just going to take a cast here to see what we can find along the way. Like that's already new. And I'm definitely going to see if I can catch that. Come on, bite it. This is a bullfish. Only $1,600. That is also a very new fish. I want you to bite my hook, sir. There's many new fish out here. Interesting. So let's see if I can get Big Boy here to bite. Yep, got him. I'll catch that one next. This one is Chompy worth $10,000. So get in the boat. And I'm seeing these are new as well. And so are these. We're going to catch one of these for now. I didn't realize there was this many new fish to be found. This is a tappy worth 2800 which sounds like bait to me. But I did also catch a little uh, baby whatever, and I think these ones are pretty valuable. That's worth 8400 so that's not bait. This time I'm going to go as far out as I possibly can, then cast with large bait. That's also a new fish. Uh, that's also a new fish, and that's also a new fish, but I'll settle for this one apparently. There is so many things to catch till I barely know where to start. So this is called a yellow jack, and it's hardly worth anything at all. So we're going to attach a big hook and a rocket to see what's way out there. Because there's definitely a whole bunch of weird looking fish. Ooh, give me this thing. I have no idea what this is, but I'm sure it's valuable too. And there's a huge shark as well. Can I catch a shark? Do you want to bite? I want that shark. Look at the size of it. Bite my thing. Well, we'll figure out how to get that. We probably just need maybe large live bait, not huge, and then the big hook. So this is a dragon fish worth $120,000. Get in the boat. And there's a whole bunch of different things down here where there's apparently like a reef and there's even some spike fish. I have no idea what I want to be catching right now. I'm like overwhelmed with it all. This green eyed weirdo is worth $13,000 by himself. One of the problems about being out this far though is it actually does take quite a while to get the boat in and out. The shark might have something in particular he likes to eat. I'm maybe going to try... Nope, none of these really want to bite bait this big. I'm going to need a pretty big fish. I did find more of these guys. Oh, these green ones are new. Give me these. Well, this is also a green fish, so we'll settle for this one. Uh, the rest of the others are very happy about that, so let's hopefully get him in before they eat him. Kirby, $5,600. Well, you know what, Kirby? Good news. I'm going to feed you to other fish now. Mostly simply as a reward for wasting my time. But if you manage to catch me a shark, I will forgive you. Or maybe whatever one of these things are. A big pink fish. Looks kind of like a watermelon. I don't know why I said that. That doesn't look anything like a watermelon. Unless there are pink watermelons out there that are worth $16,000. And this little guy so desperately wants to be caught, he's hanging out underneath my boat, annoying the life out of me. So we're going to see if we can entice him into biting, because he's worth $8,400. And it's turning into nighttime, which means we can catch different fish, but I also want to take one more cast way out here to try and catch a shark or something of equal or greater value. Like maybe one of those? I don't know what these are, but I'm going to take it. This might also be an opportunity for me to catch a bleeper. But this is a tick tick worth $8,400. 500, which isn't a lot, but get in the boat. Finally made it into shore, so we're going to sell everything for $254,000, a quarter of a million. And then these fish below the boat are the ones that uh, try and grab my lure out of the air. So as soon as I figure out how to do that, we're going to catch one because that's a quest. Last, there seems to just be new fish in general at night, so there are small fish, but they're very hard to get a hold of. Light bulb lure unlocked. That sounds like something I'm going to want. Is that all I had to do was unlock the light bulb lure was to actually catch a bulb fish? I've hooked a million of them, I just never reeled one to the surface. So I'm gonna take off diving lure and replace that hopefully with a light. Okay, I now have a mustard fish attached. I don't know if I need to buy a light bulb every cast, but I assume I do. I'm gonna attach a huge hook. Then we're gonna try and catch some of these big fish that are lurking around here at the night time. Because there is a really big fish, I think it's actually the no yeah, one of those. He was very close, so I'm just going to hang out here until he shows up again. Or we could catch one of these. This is probably good too. 12,500 isn't bad. Okay, as it's turning to daytime, we finally got what we needed to catch that big guy. So if he wants to swim past again, I wouldn't, you know, say no to that. 
Pretty sure we're back to the daytime fish. They're all swimming in right now. Wow, wish I had a net. Although while I'm down here, does this big idiot over here want to take a bite? Here, when he's done having a seizure and not appearing on my screen? All right, well, you know what? I'm not going to chase him forever. He's valuable, but he's not, you know, that valuable. Probably going to stay away from the weeds. I don't even know if I can snag trees, so I'm going to avoid things like that as well. There's so many hats and stuff down here, and I've already caught one of those. It was valuable, but I don't want it now. We're going to keep wandering lower and lower until we find something amazing. Like that thing. That looks amazing. Get over here. Fight my thing. Perfect. You're coming with me. Lucky for me, it's only going to take about 45 minutes to get this back to the surface. So for this particular moron, 24,000. That's not nearly as much as I thought, but get in the boat. Apparently, I just unlocked Deep Sonar. Well, I mean, after 60 more quests, I've unlocked it. Not really sure what this big fish is. I think that's two side by side, actually. I think it's two of those. Probably also valuable, but I still want to see what's deeper down. It's actually so dark now that even my light bulb apparently can't light up what's here, which is interesting. Maybe I just need more light bulbs, so I might have to settle for one of those gold idiots. Or whatever that is. I don't know what this is, but I want it. We got apparently nothing. So the light bulbs are definitely only effective to a certain depth. The deeper you go, even they get darkened out. And there's some shrimp things, which are probably valuable, but too boring for me right now. I wish I knew what these hats did more, because I could be picking up a lot of hats super easily right now. But here's another cave, so let's ooh, very carefully drop down. I don't want one of those. We're just kind of going to go by feel down here. This is really stupid. I'm probably just going to snap this off and I don't even know what's around me right now. So I'm probably going to settle for whatever this guy is because he's the only thing I can find in the darkness. Oh, I wish I saw that one sooner. I wanted the kissy fish. But this one's worth an easy 18,200. Good enough for me. So now we're going to cast this big bait with a big hook as far out as we can at the very end of our range and see if there's anything out here worth catching. Maybe one of those, maybe the pink fish. I don't know what's the most valuable yet. There's a lot of weird things out here. And that's a new one for sure. But we're going to go deep out here too to see what's out here. Uh, there seems to be a cliff's edge, like just out past where I can't quite sink down. I'm going to need a better boat for that. There is also a bit of a cave on this side or a drop off. So we're going to hopefully find a rare fish down here. Like this thing? You want to bite my thing, sir? Yeah, you sure do. I don't know what this is, but I bet it's valuable. Anything with a paint job like that has to be valuable. For the ray, 15,000. Not nearly as much as I thought, considering how hard it is to catch one of those. Well, here's the shrimp again, so I'll take one of those. I feel like these are probably used as bait for something better later, but for now, I'll settle for the shrimp. That's worth $100. It's a scrimp, which I basically turned into this guy for 10,000. Chompy, get in the boat. And just nearby, I caught Nemo, the ultimate catch, which is worth actually $40,000. That's way higher than I thought getting the boat. Four hours later, we made it back into shore where we're going to sell our fish for $200,000, which puts us up to $750,000, which is half the money we need for the $1.5 million boat, which we're going to explore next time.